Good morning, YouTube! Andrew and Price, also known as Altered's Ego, back once again with another video. I have continued to work on this whole pre-sorting device uh, that you saw last time. This was version 2. This was version 1. And this, I think, is uh, the final version that I've come up with. So, let's go through the changes real quickly. Uh, we've got our four dispensers up here. We've got, you know, zombies, creepers, skeletons, and then one dispenser full of a mix of them. Uh, so we have a little bit of a, a variety in what's coming out. Uh, I've condensed this down to a single chute coming down. Everything comes into this area. And as you can see, it's kind of shielded. That way, if uh, a mob knocks into another mob, it keeps it from knocking it into my... Uh, too close to the edge. I've put the glass up here up top to prevent them from jumping up because that keeps them from... Uh, that makes it harder for them to get out of here because the whole point of this is not... this is not a mob sorting system. It's a pre-sorter. Uh, the difference being we're only trying to get one type of mob and we do not care about uh, the efficiency, we obviously want it to be relatively high so that we can get as many of whatever type of mob we need as quickly as possible. Get down in there. Come on. Fall. Good job. Alright. Uh, but yeah. It's, uh, we're more worried... This is 100% efficient in the sense that it only gives us zombies. And that's all we care about. We want the zombies to feed into our other sorting system which actually you know does a much better job but we have to separate them first from the uh, the rest of the mobs uh, we you can see here I have a little nice little drop down where they can fall into uh, this area because if uh, this is not centered uh, which is something I probably do different if I were to do it again uh, we have it so that they can't get into that area from this side um, also just to make things simpler, if I had originally had the zombies here, but the problem, or the uh, villagers standing here, but the problem is the zombies then just want to angle this way. And they don't want to hop over onto the side. So we move them to the side. Uh, as you can see, I've got a center channel now that's three wide. Uh, there's the center area where it's uh, half a block lower. There's a half slabs uh, or a full block. Well, yeah, half slab here and then another uh, half slab up uh, here. So this keeps things all nice and neat, but it also makes it pretty hard for the mobs to get out because they can't jump out. They have to really intend to walk out. And the only ones that are going to do that are the uh, zombies. So, as you can see here, we've continued to cover it up, and then, obviously, the lava down here. I also set up a little bit better, nicer uh, viewing area for us to view things, and kind of watch the progress, where we can see everything from down here. Oh, come on, get on the ladder. There we go. Good job. Alrighty. Uh, so, here's our viewing area. Pretty much the same as the last time. I uh, used an RS Nor latch, just simply so that I can get it so that you know you just press one button and it automatically you know will dump everything and then it closes uh, after a few seconds uh, we can see everything that's falling here and we can see you know them as they come down the channel uh, so it's nice to be able to view them from both above and below and the last thing and this is kind of uh, another little trick I kind of figured out I don't know for sure if this is the case, but it definitely seems to be the case. If you leave the end of this tunnel open like this, the mobs go much more easily than if you close it off. My guess, my reason for thinking this is A, well, I tested it, and then B, I think the mobs don't like being closed in. So if you open up the end of the tunnel like this, it seems to really make them so that they don't resist it as the water pushes them this way. Uh, I did set up some testing for this and was trying to, you know, figuring it out using uh, eggs and things. And it did seem to make a difference. Uh, I tried a whole bunch of different uh, 
was trying a couple of different methods. Like, I was thinking, well, maybe if they, s like, oh, now I'm stuck in a piston. Great. There we go. I was like, well, I wonder if a skeleton, when they get hit by the uh, piston, if they will automatically try to go back. Because I was thinking, well, maybe that would be a way of making sure that we didn't get skeletons and then do something where we uh, uh, open an area where they get the uh, zombies will get pushed in. I was just trying different things to try to make it 100% efficient. Uh, I also tried... Was trying to think of other uh, things that only um, that only uh, zombies do, like zombies beat on do doors, and they are attracted to doors unlike any other mob. But it doesn't seem to be a block update for that, because that's what I was thinking would be kind of a cool method for dropping them is if it when they beat on the door if it was a block update. But apparently it's not, so. I kind of figured it wouldn't be because it doesn't change anything about the block, but eh, it never hurts to check. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this thing up, and I'll kind of show you it running real quickly. Uh, you can see here we got all of our mobs dropping in. They're dropping at a very quick rate. This is would have to be a very high efficiency spawner. Even then, I don't think it would go quite this fast. But, you know, you want to make sure everything works properly. And as you can see, we've already got three zombies waiting for us. Come on, come on, get in. Good boy, come on, come on. Yay, four. Uh, for my system, I need 12 of them. Uh, but for most, you're just going to do a single mob sorter. So you'll just need, uh, need four. So it would have already filled up by this point. But as you can see, we're not getting all the zombies. But that's okay. Again, it's not supposed to be 100% efficient when it comes to that. All we're worried about right now is only getting zombies, and as you can see, that's all we're getting. I've run um, a full set of uh, full s dispenser full of eggs through, and uh, we only seem to get zombies in here. I've tried to test that a lot before I posted this because I want to make sure that uh, you know everything works the way I say it does before I actually post the video. So, but yeah. Like I said, everything seems to be going okay. We only have zombies in here, which is great. Which is the pur purpose of this whole stupid thing. And down here, everything else dies. Of course, obviously, in a uh, you know in an actual system, you actually want to keep the mobs as opposed to letting them die. But uh, you know that's pretty easy to route. And we'll go down here, double check that we only got zombies this time. There we go. And there we go, a room full of zombies. So, there you go. It's uh, working properly. Pretty easy to build, not a lot of redstone to this one. Um, you can tell that we're t on this server, which is admittedly uh, running on some more ancient hardware. Uh, it is causing some lag, uh, but usually by now you would, you know your mobs would have started sorting and you'd be doing with uh, them whatever you you know wanted and hopefully if you're running this on a uh, like a uh, multiplayer server where a lot of people are playing you won't be having you know it'll be more powerful than a Pentium 4 with like 4 gigs of RAM uh, that's this is just a, a home system that a friend of mine converted over to a server so let's real quickly dump these bye mr. zombie bye and close that up so now that we have that working I was just real going to really quickly going to show you they do eventually fall it just takes them forever though they're constantly trying to get those villagers uh, that's I don't know if there's anything I can do about that other than you know drop them where they're not going to be uh, trying to you know where they're out of sight I guess they have to be 16 blocks away I don't know what the aggro range is I think it's 16 blocks but not positive on that. Oh, go fall. Thank you. Well, anyways, um, real quickly, I'm going to show you what I've been working on in my uh, castle. And I'll uh, start the video back up when I get there. See you in a few. Well, just look at that view. That's pretty. Alrighty. So... 
now that we've uh, I've shown you kind of the device working, I wanted to show you what I've been working on in my castle for uh, implementing it. Uh, here's where the mobs drop down. Um, they drop into this area, and I have a uh, what would normally be a just a water break or something to slow them down as they fall. But when this is enabled, uh, like it is right now, it opens up this side panel and gives them a floor, they fall in. Uh, I'm going to have to do something where they're not uh, uh, drowning right there. But then they would drop down and wait right here to fall into this tube into the uh, sorting area below us. So that's pretty neat. Uh, obviously this is in the very early stages, so uh, I've just been laying things out, trying to get an idea for the area. Uh, because I'm probably going to, well, not probably, I know I'm going to be ending up, or I'm going to end up building four of these things, and I need to make sure that they're not going to bump into each other. And I'm going to have to move that, which will be a pain, but, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, but yeah, I actually, I didn't intend for this to stay it with a circular design, but it uh, seems to be working out so that it will keep with the circular theme of the place, which kind of makes me happy. Uh, you know, obviously, functionality is king, but, you know, it looking good would have to be its queen. Uh, if we're going to stick with the royal theme there. And I think, yeah, I knew that guy get out. I had to replace this stuff so that it was even with everything else. So I'm sorry my little uh, friend, big nose friend, I guess, but you are going to die. Actually, let's see. Yep, that works. I've already got these pre-wired so that the doors will close when they fall on here. I've got to do a lot more wiring because I've got to make it uh, put an AND gate in here so that these things will... Uh, when the zombies fall into place that they will uh, automatically oh that that one I don't have wired up yet um, but so that when these things when the zombies fall in place it'll automatically uh, shift this into the correct uh, mode of operation so uh, that's really all I had to show today. It's uh, I know not a lot of progress, but I kind of wanted to, in case anyone else was messing around with this uh, type of idea, I wanted to show what I'd come up with. Uh, the big things that are important as far as the, uh, the design of this uh, pre-sorter goes, A, make sure that this area at the end is open, not like I was doing. Um, B, Make sure that the uh, the water is converging here because it makes it a lot harder for the uh, the bosses or bosses the mobs to get out of here if it's uh, sweeping them into the middle. They really have to want to get out to to get to this area. In fact, I haven't done this yet. Well, let's see how this works with uh, an actual zombie. Well, if I can get up there. Mm, can I get up there? Yeah, the, on top of this is my wheat farm, so I'm going to have to do something where the wheat's going to come out the sides or something. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. So, like I said, a work in progress, like everything. But let's go ahead and, and spawn a couple of zombies and see what they do. Because my guess is right now, I had to make this... Oh, oh, come on. Come on, little zombie. Come on, little zombie. Go for it. You can do it. Ah, I'm going to have to do something about that because I, I don't think they can make it right now. I had to make this uh, too wide because of the... Uh, because that's how I built this without knowing that I was going to be doing having to do this pre-sorting system. Oh, and I left a hole for them to get out of. Great. Uh, 
All right. Now let's get rid of those clouds. There we go. Love Spoutcraft. All right. So, uh, you can see it's still work in progress. Have a lot of things to do. But the zombies do get down where they're supposed to get. And once I close up in this entrance, uh, everything should be okay. At least as far as that goes. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, coming along slowly but surely. Well, thank you once again. This is Andrew in Price, also known as Altered Zigo. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I guess uh, leaving any comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys later. Bye.